Hey everyone, um, decided to make another iPad video because the last one I had was pretty shitty, especially the audio. Um, so I'm going to go through and just kind of give a brief overview of what I got installed and I should go into the apps a little bit more in depth than the last one, but mm, get going. So let's see here. So I'm going to start with just the games first, just show off some good games. Um, I'm not actually going to play the games because that's like a waste of time, but I'm just going to kind of recommend it. I'm going to show the one thing that I really want to show you all with the games that's unique to like City and Jailbroken. So Sentinel 3 is a great game. Um, it's good tower defense, it's cool music and stuff. World of Goo is another great game. Uh, I'm sure everyone's actually heard of that one by now. Uh, Bloons TD, I love TD, so like that's the main thing I play, but Bloons TD 4, it's made for iPhone, but it actually scales really well and it's fun to play. Um, the Fantasy game, it's like a, I can't think of what it's called, but it's a, it's like a shooter, like where you shoot like the guys that come back and forth down the screen. I can't think of what it's called right now. But anyways, the main thing I wanted to show was this uh, SCNS ADX. Um, it's available in the App Store. And what's really cool about it is you can actually go into the settings. Let me go into it. Um, if you see right, turn the real quick. Um, so you go down. It says Wii Remote. This is really cool. So if you click on oh I gotta turn it off real quick let me turn Bluetooth off real quick okay settings and do we remote so now it's activating, and you take your Wii remote, and you click the one and two buttons, it turns on. Now it's connecting to my Wii remote, and now this light's solid and it's done. So now I go to my games, and we'll do, I'm just going to show a quick preview, so let's do Into the Past. Alright, so here it is. Let me put the phone, let me put it down just for a second so I get a little better angle. There it is. See, got Zelda going, and you can actually instead use the uh, the remote on the Wii to control everything, which is so much better than the actual touchpad. Play the truth. Yeah. See? Everything through here. You actually have two players. Um, I have it uh, 64, um, N64 installed too for emulation, but the last time I tried it, it's it's pretty shitty. The, the Super Nintendo, though, is flawless. Um, no lag. All the controls are great and responsive. And it's honestly a really good setup if you're really bored or in a car or something. But let's just get out of this. Alright, um, so yeah, the I switched the uh, toggle mute on the four point, I guess, iOS's to uh, to the rotation lock. So you just toggle it on, because I enjoy that more, personally. But, <laughs> it's acting a little funky right now, but hey, lock it. Um, let's see here, what do we need to go to next? Go to uh, some media, kind of show some stuff I got. Um... So that's something I didn't really go into detail on these. Well, actually, I'm not going to go to media just yet because I have my computers off and I want to show you all some cool stuff that I did for that setup. But let's go to web apps. Um, so someone recommended a couple of like Facebook apps on my last video. And I tried some, and Friended seems to be like the best one that I've found personally. I just like the layout. It's a lot like the regular website. And most of the other ones I've had just feel like retarded and they're difficult to use well. But yeah, I don't really want to zoom in too much because I want to show people's names. But yep, it's from Facebook. Um, Skyfire, I'm sure everyone knows you can play a lot of Flash videos and stuff. It converts it to HTML5, which can actually be played on um, your iPad. Not really going to need to go into that. And then, let's see, settings. So I've got... Air display, 
Um, someone is asking, like, it, they said it was horrible on the computer, it wasn't working right. It actually has to be on OS, uh, iOS 4. Point, like above 4.2, I think. So like 4.2.1 works, but like 3.2.1 does not work on the PC. It just doesn't show up at all. I'm not sure why or what, but it doesn't say anything in the app, but that's, I'm pretty sure that's what it was because I tested a lot of stuff. And that was the only thing I could figure out that did that. Um, install us. Uh, it lets you um, install like cracked apps. Now, I don't like really want piracy, but I use it simply to be able to test and find what the best apps are. Like the Facebook thing. Like I'm not going to pay for one of There's like five and I'm not going to just guess which one's the best essentially. But um, let's see what else I got on here. City, I'm sure everyone knows what that is. Wi-Fi sync lets you sync wirelessly over Wi-Fi. ISA, um, this program here, ISHSHIT, it, uh, it saves you your, like, blobs so you can install whatever iOS you want later on. Uh, you need to do it on the current, like, up-to-date one, though. Um, uh, Backgrounder, it was causing me some issues. Um, I had made it so that it selects native, unless there isn't one, then it uses Backgrounder, and then I have a few exceptions, like, um, the Alien Blue, I don't want it to, like, have to reload everything every time, so I usually have that one run. Like it's in the foreground all the time. Um, battery detective, just kind of cool. It just gives you some stats in your battery, like how many charges and um, how much actual charge you have left in your battery, or uh, like a full capacity compared to like the specs and stuff to see like how good a quality your battery still is. Um, Insomnia lets you run Wi Fi and lock screen. Not really, I don't really use that anymore now. Uh, I see it's an alternate to Cydia. Uh, it's alright. Uh, it's not anything. Uh, my first and favorite was Rock back in the day, but obviously Cydia bought them, and Cydia hasn't really stepped up their game to tell you the truth, but hopefully they will in the future. Uh, I don't really need to go into the rest of these, they're really that important. So now I'm going to go into um, some stuff that I think is really cool that I just set up today. Uh, one issue I had is with streaming and stuff is I didn't want to leave my computer on 24 7 just because that obviously costs money. Um, but, so I'm going to go into my utilities real quick. Uh, let's see. I'm going to kind of show a little bit more detail now. Because the last stuff was kind of in my other video too. But, okay, so, uh, here it is. I wake, or, I wake on land, or wake over land. Um, I've tested it. It's on my iPhone too. But, uh, it lets you start your computer wirelessly. Um, you have to, you can't have a wireless card on your computer, it has to be a Ethernet, because it actually has to have like that, um, like the Ethernet cards are actually left on, versus I don't think Wi-Fi cards are, and they can't actually accept like the signal, but you can uh, enable it in your motherboard, uh, BIOS settings, it's like WOL or Wake on LAN or uh, Boot over LAN or something along those lines, you gotta enable it, and you also have to have uh, port 7 forwarded. For over the internet, uh, the LAN one doesn't actually matter, but I'm going to do just the LAN one to show it. So there's my computer across the room. So I'm going to click real quick. And I'm going to send. And you see my fan controller just turned on. So yeah, my computer just turned on. And that monitor should turn on in just a second. I'm actually going to put it on the TV. It's, it's kind of hard to see right there for y'all. Give it just a second. Uh, but oh, that's turning on. I guess let me get my keyboard. Uh, it's actually the keyboard I use. It's pretty damn cool. I think it was like fifty bucks or so. But it's got like a, a laptop touchpad and a full keyboard. Um, it's got amazing battery life and it's extremely light for being a keyboard. Um, highly recommend it. The only thing is you have to have like a direct line of sight. If you see that little thing hanging above uh, that fan, that's actually the, uh, excuse me, the receiver for the keyboard, but I'm going to go into it, so yeah, my computer's booted up, and when my computer's on, um, I have a vent server that starts up automatically for, you know, gaming and whatnot, and uh, I also have a thing called um, Sav NZB, which is like an automatic NZB downloader type tool. Um, but I'm going to show you like what it does on here. So I can go to my NZBs. 
And um, that thing that I was talking about, Sav, it actually it has an RSS feed that it loads off a website. I selected all the TV shows that I watch. Uh, I'm going to continue this on in the part two so this video doesn't get too long.